and welcome to a new video. This is my last video of 2018. It's gonna be a summary of all the art I have done this year. And it's a lot. It's a lot. I actually thought I didn't draw that much this year. But holy shit, when I was looking at how much I have done for this video, like, oh, finding all the art I have done, it's a lot. It's so much. My main social media is probably Twitter and you easily lose sight of all of your art because it just kind of disappears in your timeline. Twitter's not the best place for that. I think Instagram is a lot better, but I'm not that good at uploading on Instagram. So most of my art is just on Twitter and it just disappears after a while. So we're just gonna have a look at everything and talk a little bit about it and maybe also talk about Resolutions for the new year. Ooh. So first thing I'm going to show you guys are all the originals that are in my folder. Almost all of these are from this year. I also have a few things that I don't have the originals of anymore because I sent them out because they were commissions or because they were for giveaways. So I'm going to show some scans afterwards on my PC, I started out with a really interesting series this year. I think the first one I drew was in the end of December last year, but this is something I got really into doing this year, and that is drawing Rainbow Six Siege headshot of some of the operators of the game. In the beginning I wanted to do them in chronological order and go through every month, but let's just be real, it's a lot and we don't have the time for it, so I'm just gonna go through a little bit, flip through. This is Ella, had a lot of fun drawing her, still one of my favorites, that's why she's like the first. Here we have Bandit and Valkyrie, Smonk and Ash. Smonk is actually the only one that I drew last year in the end of December. I'm just gonna put him in here. Don't tell anyone. Then we have Echo and Dogepi. We have Frost, we have Capcan and Legion, Finger and Lion, and Maverick and Clash. Those are all the headshots I have done this year alone. Um, there is, I think, around 42 operators in the game right now, and I have done 14, I think. So there's still a lot to do, but 14 in a year is good. I think I could have done more because I did like a really big break in between where I didn't want to draw them at all because they were kind of getting boring. But I mean, maybe I'm gonna do more or can do all the remaining ones in 2019. It doesn't end there though. There is more Rainbow Six stuff. I did a casual version of Dogebi and also one for Ella. I did a Hibana headshot. The original I don't have anymore. This is actually a print. Uh, the original is with the people from Ubisoft Montreal. So I think it's in good hands there. So here we have also more Rainbow Six characters. I tried to do a series where I do black and uh, white only and then one color. As you can see here, it's just like black and white and then one additional color. But I also made these that are fully colored. Um, they are half the size of these drawings, really like them. So we have Nomad, which is one of the new characters, Blitz Elite, we have Valkyrie Elite, and IQ Elite. Really don't like this one, that is like one of those drawings I dislike the most from this year. Didn't turn out how I wanted to at all. Then we do have an Apex, also from Rainbow Six. This is actually not from this year, so we're actually gonna go past this. And we're also gonna go past this. Then we have Alexios and Cassandra from Ubisoft's game Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Really like how these turned out as well. Here's some of my Inktober stuff. I drew a 2B. I drew Diva from Overwatch, Link from The Legend of Zelda. I also drew this one this year, which is funny because I thought I drew this last year. You kind of really forget time and I thought this was so old already, but I drew this this year and it's Plain Doll from Bloodborne. 
and I love how she turned out. It was so much work because all of this, the whole drawing, is tiny cross hatching. I like how she turned out. This one is from last year though. Then we have uh, Bazette and Moth Girl that is inspired on Jessica Negri's cosplay. They were both for Inktober as well. Then we have this drawing that I sadly can't show you. I drew it this year as well, but it's uh, a naked lady, so we're just gonna keep our hand here. And I also drew my original character, which is Leon. Maybe some of you already have seen her on the channel. I made a video about her. And here's some small stuff I did. I drew some bunnies and something for me and my boyfriend's birthday. And here's my free marker challenge that I recently uploaded. So this concludes all the originals in this folder. It's quite a few and I really like that most of them are from this year. That means I have worked hard. I'm happy about it. I need to admit though a lot of them are still missing and I'm gonna show you some more. This is my Alexias and Cassandra picture. I also made a video of those two. Um, also here I put a lot of work into it. Love how it turned out. This is the original and I'm really in love with it. Also, I drew this. This is a Titan from Destiny 2. Some of you might have seen him in my last video. It was a Christmas present for my boyfriend and I put a lot of work into it. I still love how he turned out. Really? Hi guys! So this is all the stuff I made either digitally or uh, that I made traditionally, but I have sold the original or I just don't have it anymore because it was a commission. We're gonna be really professional and just film it with my cam instead of screen capturing it because I'm a lazy fuck today. So bear with me, I'm sorry. So this one is a logo I did for my boyfriend. He wanted um, his logo to be Spartan themed and everything for his Twitch channel to be Spartan themed. I'm still not done yet, but I did the logo already. I'm really, really proud of it because it's actually all done in Clip Studio because I do, still don't know how to do vectors, so I just painted the whole thing. <laughs> and I think it turned out really great. Then we have some Rainbow Six Chibis that I did for a keychain series. And you can actually see that here are the keychains I made. They actually sold out really quick and I'm so proud that I was able to make them all by myself. I mean, I ordered them online but I'm so happy that I could make them and sell them I'm actually in the making of getting them restocked very soon so if you're interested in that have a look on my store envy in the next couple of weeks so this was a commission and also this one this one as well and also this one oh no this was not a commission this is already a rainbow six art again also this one Hibana, Dogebi and Blackbeard. So this is Twitch and all of these things coming now are work I have been doing for a streamer named Kaylee Phoenix. Go check her out. It's a lot of uh, just small chibis for the stream itself and I also made some emotes for her, you're gonna see in a second. This are some chibis I made for uh, also a streamer called Ray J, I think. I forgot her name, oh no, it has been a while. So those were some chibis I did for her. We really liked how these turned out. And here again are the emotes I did for Kaylee. I really liked that I did a little bit more digital art this year it was good for me to kind of get a hold of it and get used to everything so i'm really really proud of myself some rainbow six art for their three years birthday then we have my own bunny i designed this year and some different emotes for him I also got this year the first time into animation. I mean, it's really, really small clips and I only use them for my Twitch channel if somebody donates or hosts me or 
um, subscribes, but really like how this turns out. Look at them. Then this one. And my last one. I really like how these turned out. I'm really proud of myself, but ah, uh, so much work. So much work. Then I did some more emotes. I just wanted to play around with it. As I said, I'm trying to learn to do more digital. This is um, a Shex I drew from Destiny 2. He was part of the in Inktober as well, but the original I gave away. We have some more siege art for Christmas. More siege, more siege. We have more siege. And this is also um, from Rainbow Six Siege. Maybe you have seen it on my channel already. I did a skin coloring tutorial to these two drawings. Really liked how these turned out. They were commissions and are already sold and gone and are with their new owner and he really really liked them then i made these two for me and my boyfriend this year so that was all my art from 2018 i hope you guys liked it i really did it was amazing to see all of the art together that i have done this year it's maybe also a really nice reminder to know how much work you have done because as I said, sometimes you lose yourself in the numbers and you lose yourself in the month and you just kind of forget what you have drawn already this year. I'm really happy with all the stuff I did this year. I'm really happy how much my following has grown on social media. 2018 in general has been a really, really good year for me art-wise. Um, I think I have learned a lot. I don't think I have improved as much as I would love to but that will hopefully come next year. I tried a lot of digital art this year, which I haven't been doing previously. So that was really nice. I still want to stay with my traditional art because I love it. And I still want to learn more and maybe go a little bit more away from the whole manga art style and try a little bit more to go into semi-realistic next year. I would love to also try doing uh, watercolors and try some new medias like watercolors, uh, gouache and oil painting. I would also like to grow this channel a little bit more next year. I don't know, my main goals for 2019 will probably be growing the YouTube channel, make more videos and trying to get more active on my Patreon. Wanted to start my own comic in 2019 as well. Overall I'm just really happy really grateful it has been an amazing year and i'm so grateful for all my friends who have been a part of it and my family and my boyfriend who have been at my side and always believe in me and i hope i can make 2019 an even better year and i can show you guys a lot more and i hope i can improve a lot more and i hope at the end of 2019 i can do this again look back at everything and be amazed by myself thank you guys so much for watching i hope you had fun with the video i'm sorry if it was a little bit longer than my usual videos but i hope you took something away from it you had a lot of fun watching it i sure had a lot of fun making it if you liked the video maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also check out my other social medias that are linked down below. Also, if any of you are interested in the originals you have seen today, you can check out my store Envy. It's linked down below as well. Happy New Year everyone. I hope 2019 is gonna be awesome for all of us. And I see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.